Pal Halalium, La Yahawo, Bahasham, Shal Yahawo Shai, Bahasham Raka Kodash, Dwari Yahawo Bahasham Yahawo Shai, putting his Holy Spirit on me to do another lesson, to edify the true followers, the true worshippers of the Most High in these last days. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great and stone, and salutations to the sincere Akim by pushing the truth of the Holy Scriptures, the Bible, in fear and in truth. We're just going to do a quick lesson on um, the Antichrist. Because there's more than one Antichrist and their fruits, all right? Fruits pertain to their actions and the fruits pertain to their followers, all right? This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. So a lot of people claim that they know the word of the Mosai, which is the Holy Bible, that, you know, the Mosai is dealing with them and so forth. So to, if you understand scriptures, you would know that you know the law of the Mosai. Therefore, that would make you a judge. So if you're a judge that has the law appointed by the Most High, you should love righteousness. And what's righteousness? Psalms 119 verse 151. All the Most High commandments are righteousness, roughly paraphrasing. Think of Yahweh with a good heart and in simplicity of heart, seek Him. So think of the Most High with a, with a good heart. So if you read Romans 7, it says the Most High law is good. And when it says heart, it pertains to... um mind the hebrew word lab or laab and in simplicity of heart seek him it's not about being depth or over prolific and you know doing things in certain fashion order it's being simple and edifying people verse 2 for he will be found in them that tempt him not and shew at himself unto such as do not distrust him so those that love yahweh Hashem Yahushai, will not tempt the Most High, even for the littlest thing. They will try their best to keep the laws and commandments in these last days and teach the scriptures according to their to their true understanding. All right, because there's a lot of pastors out there who are saying, saying the laws is done away, who are saying um, uh, the, more, the more sin you do, the more grace you have. You could eat poor, you could bless and eat poor. And they, they try to justify this wickedness and saying that the most is in these buildings that they're building and scriptures say contrary to these things that they they agree upon and then when it comes to things that are within the scriptures they're saying that it's not and that's out of context and so forth for example um like a woman piercing her nose i sure they would tell a woman that this thing of a heart and so forth but the most i took away that um thing because the doctor's design was being hard so therefore if he would, if he would, if he would, if he had a problem with it, why did he get them in the first place? And he showed himself unto such that do not distrust him. A lot of people don't trust the Most High. They believe, I'm talking about true trust, true faith. They believe that that you're saved by grace alone, but it's grace and works. Grace, faith, and works. Because it starts with grace. Grace is the, is the time, the, the exemption to get yourself together. For forward thoughts separate from the Most High, and His power, when it is tried, reprove, reprove it the unwise. So any forward thoughts, any thoughts pertaining to confusion and disorder, is separate from the Most High. Like women singing in church and all these things like that, that's against Scripture. There's no way you can justify that which is written in Scriptures. That a woman should be loud and clapping and singing and got her hair uncovered and wearing pants and so forth and his power and his power when it is tried to prove it then why so therefore these look how much year look how much years christianity has been about and now now it's being tried now they now their doctrine is being tried the most is reproving them and you know they're gonna fight back in some sort of way some sort of fashion verse four for into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter so those who willingly sinning, those who teaching people that they continue sin, and those that sinning themselves, disobeying the laws and commandments, most I will not enter into those, nor dwell in the body that is subject to sin, because of these unclean, breaking commandments is basically making itself unclean. So unclean spirits will be in unclean vessels. So therefore, wisdom will not dwell in a body that is subject to sin. Verse five. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee the sea. And that's what the Lord of Commands about it. Being disciplined to your Heavenly Father. Being disciplined to Yahweh, which is his only Hebrew name. 
and Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, which is his son's only Hebrew name. All right, and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. So if you if if you don't have understanding, or if you're willing to submit yourselves to these words, then the most high Holy Spirit is not dealing with you. So now you have thing that you get baptized of them in this water. That you have the Holy Spirit or you will receive the Holy Spirit? No, it's by keeping the laws and commandments and will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. So if you sin, it's not going to stay there. So if you had the truth and the wisdom of understanding and you start doing something wicked, the Holy Spirit is not going to be there. Verse 6 For wisdom is a loving spirit and will not acquit a, a blasphemer of his words. Wisdom is a loving spirit, so a lot of people think that love is this hugging and kissing and tenderness and delicateness and so forth. No. Scripture says, who the most I love it, he chasten it. Obeying the most high is love. You first obey the most high, then anybody else could. Then then, then you could love your brother and so forth. Right? But you, and, and then it even goes to, if you love your brother, it's like if you're keeping, keeping all the commandments pertaining to keeping the laws and commandments. You're not going to see your brother go and worship this god or this this art this idol or this um this system this babylonian system and so forth all right for the most i is witness of his reigns reigns pertain to like most i witnessing what drives this person to me my reigns and a true beholder of his heart goes back to mind and the hearer of his tongue so his actions, the Most High is witnessing, his thoughts, and his words. Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 5 to 9. Thus saith Yahweh Power, This is Jerusalem I have set in the midst of the nations and the countries that are round about her. So Israel, the so called Negroes, Hispanics, Amerindians, Native Americans, Confusion of Faces, have been scattered in the four corners of the earth, and salvation is for them only. So if you're teaching anything outside of that doctrine, you're an antichrist, you're a hypocrite, and you have no understanding. I mean, it is just one of the things that, that you should be teaching. If you if you truly claim to be a man of God, quote and unquote. Verse 6, she slacked, and she hath changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations and my statutes, more than the countries that are round about her. For they have refused my judgments and my statutes they have not walked in them therefore i was doing some clean up today deleting some old bookmarks when i was wicked and so forth it seems like i was still on um, google and whatnot came across this website named spiritual knowledge right now this website is a table of vomit you know according to uh, pursuit to isaiah 28. welcome to the english pages of slavok website www poznani sk the word poznani means knowing and these web pages are dedicated to the most important aspects of man's life seeking and knowing truth they believe that this website is dedicated to it <laughs> here you won't find the theological facts statistical data to philosophical works and large reflections we won't burden you with the words of scholars and experts. These represent mentally acquired information, not real knowledge. Real knowledge is based on exper ex experimental searching, seeking genuine truth, knowing naturally, intuitively, and living within the, bound the boundaries proper to one's own spirit, not those of another. History abounds with evidence of false teachers who supposedly in the know. So they are leaning on their own understanding, in other words. That's just foolish. There's a point I want to get on this first page, and then I'm going to go to the next page. And if you see their, their icon, is this pyramid, which clearly shows that this is a spiritually um, Egypt. In order to make navigation simple and promote a clear understanding, we attempt to categorize the contents. Some subjects, however, may overlap into others because we do not offer information to be merely mentally acquired, to be absorbed like a battery is charged. Our articles should be, should be read with, uh, with heart and filled through spirit. 
through our spirit so they are going to feelings and all stuff like that you will find here also lots to read of an extraordinary quality notably the book in the light of the truth by absertion which we highly recommend so so they they basically debunk them debunk themselves because they said and i'm burning you with this and so forth so forth but they recommend a damn book so let's go to this guy here who wrote this book so abrushin oscar ernest bredhart also known as abrushin or abdru shin 18 april 19 1875 this child word kingdom of saxony german empire 6 of december 1941 kipstoff or mountains journey is best known as the author of the grail message abrushin means son of light in the persian language hmm. i wonder why he chose persian after a brief commercial training oscar bernice bredhart began his literary activity while still a young man this often led him to foreign countries in 1915 and he was in he was interned in england released in 1919 he went first to dresden then to bavaria and in 1923 began to write the first lectures of the grail message in 1928 he settled on vomperberg tyrol then he wrote in the light of truth the grail message he was labeled a dangerous element to the nazi authorities and exiled from austria in 1938 now this is where it gets heretic 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 yes you can say or heresy the messiah he claimed to be the messiah the anointed one and by his own admission he was described in leading newspapers as, as the messiah of Tyro, of the Tyro, and the prophet of Vonderberg, von Perberg. the Grail movement maintains discretion in respect to his role as Messiah or Son of Man. Of course, they're trying to hide that because it's bullshit. He's probably teaching now. This website who give high respect of this book, it always comes back to you how bashing how shy work. So they have a section called the Bible, right? And they say the Bible hides a lot of wisdom and truth, but these have been often distorted over centuries by people. What is really hidden in well-known words and, fa and, and phrases? That's because Yahweh Bashim which I didn't give to everybody and so forth, and it hide it because you reveal the secrets unto the prophets pursuant to the Book of Amos. And when you click on this part that says the Ten Commandments, they go into mentioning one commandment. Thou shalt have no other God. Many, many a man reads far too little into these words. He has made it too easy for himself. You've made it too easy for, for, for yourself because you trying to synopsis everything and come up with your own idea of what Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai created us to do. The scripture says the, the whole duty of the man is to keep Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai commandments. But the heathens can't keep the commandments in the new kingdom, they'll have to. Only the children of Israel can keep the commandments to the best of their ability in these last days because you know, we're the chosen seed. And if you pursue to um, Genesis 18 and 19, it says that the, the children of Abraham would, would keep his commandments. The most I knew that because that's what he, he created us to do. Anyway, uh, the second to last paragraph. Unfortunately, there are no too many attachments which man has created for himself which with the utmost thoughtlessness he readily adopts an attachment is a predilection which means like bias of something earthly as i have already pointed out naturally there are still many of them but he who acquires an attachment is attached as the word correctly indic indicates he is thereby attached to the gross material when he enters the beyond for his further development and cannot easily detach himself again from it he is thus retarded held back this can indeed also be called a curse that is that exactly what's on the heathen the curse well currently israel because we disobey the laws of commandment called a curse that remains 
a perpetual burden unto him. So because we disobey the commandments, he mentioned one. So don't you think that a curse will follow the rest? Mr. Smart Alec, whoever did this article, the process is the same no matter how it is expressed in words. So he's trying to say that, I read the whole article, so he's trying to say that those who disobey the first commandments is that have no other gods before you have Bash and Yosha. He was highlighting how people make women, money, power, and different things their gods and they worship and their soul, soul mean of joy and happiness or whatever that they become cursed and their burden and so forth and this is what he says afterwards right and if in his life on earth however he puts the most high above all else not only in his perception or merely in words you see not only in his perception or merely in words that's not his perception it's the Hawabash and Yahushai perception he gives you understanding and this is a road I would have I probably would have gone down and you know the Hawabash and Yahushai to deliver me from this 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 vomit in, but in his intuition thus truly and genuinely in reverential love that binds him also to an attachment then through the same effect this binding will at once cause him to strive upwards when he enters the beyond that's what they call it, the beyond and the universe and all that. For he takes with him the reverence and love for the Mosai. It supports him and bears him finally towards the Mosai's vicinity into paradise, the primordial creation, the abode of pure spirits who have become free from all burdens, whose binding lev binding leads only to Yahweh luminous truth then it goes on said therefore pay strict attention to keep to the keeping of this commandment so what about the other commandments that's a hypocritical antichrist type of stuff and that's why i read in ezekiel 5 chapter 5 verse 5 to 9 and she hath changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations and my statutes more than the countries that are round about her verse 7 therefore thus saith Yahweh power because ye have ye multiplied more than the nations that are round about you, so Jake will come up with a whole barrage of doctrine. And ye have not walked in my statutes, neither have kept my judgments, neither have done according to the judgments of the nations that are round about you. So Jake needs to do what your nations doing. Jake come up, Jake come up with all shit to boy. Verse eight. Therefore, thus saith the Howard Power: Behold, I, even I, am against thee, and I will execute judgments in the midst of thee in the sight of the other nations. So therefore, the Most High. He's going to make us a fool in, in front of the other nations. He's going to correct us thoroughly. And to what extent? Verse 9. And I will do in thee that which I have not done. And whereunto I will not do any more the like. Because of all thine abominations. So Yahweh went all out. That's why we even go to Daniel. Said as, said as well 9 and 12. Under the whole heaven. Nothing has been done as it has been done unto um, Israel. Roughly paraphrasing. So let's bring out some attributes, some elements of, of these, these false prophets, the Antichrist, the many Antichrists in the last days. Proverbs 10 and 9, he that walketh uprightly, walketh surely. Right? So if you're a man of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, as Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1 verse 1 would say, you'd love righteousness and be a judge. Let people know that they're doing wrong, as we the men of great millstone do and teach avidly. But he that perverted his way, ways shall be known so these antichrists are known most is going to highlight all their wickedness because they must be brought to the judgment seat in order to be punished likewise we're all going to be brought to judgment seat for many deceivers are entered into the world that's why that's why it's called babylon or babal the hebrew word babal which means confusion because there's so many deception around and yahweh Hashem Yahushai has to call you in order for you fully see beyond all this and i am I'm forever grateful that I am not in this nonsense of deception because scripture is saying Job, the deceiver and deceiver are his. Who confess not that Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, is come in the flesh. So they've been teaching that the name is Jesus and Christ. And his name could be Yeshua and Yehoshua and Joshua. Which most I name is God and Lord and Yahweh. And so all those are deceivers. And this part here, who confess not that Yahweh Shai and Mashiach is coming the flesh goes back to those Israelites who teach that the Messiah has not yet come and they're still waiting on him. How foolish and stupid is that? 
this is a deceiver and an antichrist so the new the old testament don't mention something like an anti antichrist but these old testament trying to show that the new Testament is a a, a, a a false prophet or whatever you cannot prove it because the new testament is parallel to the old testament but you have to have the spirit to discern because they might read something and they might leave it at that one verse but something you got to read a whole chapter a couple of chapters or the whole book to get the context in which the apostles was, was writing because the apostles was writing in parabolic just as Yahweh Shai was speaking to the, um, the children of Israel in parables because to them it was not given first John chapter 4 verse 3 and every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai and Mashiach is come in the flesh is not of the Most High so they're not of the Most High we dealt with brothers here in, in um, Gael who's saying that he's worship a man and this and the talking about Yahweh Shai it's like you have no understanding bro Yahweh Shai is mentioned through the whole scriptures it comes in the entire volume of the book Psalms chapter 40 they're not of the most high because they deny their own king and this is that spirit of the antichrist so they're antichrist wherefore ye have heard that it should come even now already is it in the world so the apostles and was already seen these antichrists all right so this is um first john 2 and 15 the 24 love not the world neither the things that are in the world and if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So these antichrists are going to love the world because we've dealt with them. We see how they dress. We see how they talk. We see how they, they, they're proud. We see how they, they're puffed up and not humble. And like it says in Wisdom of Solomon, Think of Yahweh with a good heart and in simplicity of heart seek him. They're not seeking the most and simplicity. They want, they want a style and profile. They want to be flashy and, cash, and cashy, so to speak verse 16 of first john chapter 2 for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh so everything in this world is lust of the flesh we the true men the lord starting with the men of great no stone we don't care about this world we don't care about none of this world we we say the lord's prayer give us this day our daily bread and we good because we know our reward is much more and the scripture said blessed is the poor so what category td td snakes fall into what category um we flow dollar fall into what, what, what category um joel osteen joyce meyer we need to buy them all those millionaires what category they fall into as, as the poor shall inherit the earth huh those are lust of the flesh and lust of the eyes and pride of life and it's and it's not of the father but of the world Right, that's why Yahweh Hashem Yahushua never gave the Levites inheritance because it would have corrupted them. That's why Yahweh stripped Israel of all, all of all our riches and so forth as well, so that we could be more grateful for when He does bless us eternally. Verse 17 And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Yahweh abideth forever. So all oh, everything gonna pass away so if you do any more side they're gonna buy forever the most will remember you forever verse 18 little children it is the last time as ye have heard that antichrist shall that antichrist shall come we didn't say that the antichrist shall come that antichrist shall come even now are there many antichrists there are many many there's not one whereby we know that it is the last time among Israel, among the same disciples of Yahweh Shai, some, some didn't continue. And this is what moved the, the apostle to write this in verse 19. They went out from us, but they were not of us. So the men that left GMS, the men that left the, um, the doctrine of understanding that you're Israelite, they went out from us, but they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they may be manifest that they were not all of us many are called and few are chosen these antichrists antichrists come in all shapes and forms all right verse 20 but ye have an unction of the from the holy one and ye know all things we have an unction what's an unction anointing a chosen a selection of something smeared on if they're going to the strongs and we know all things why we know all things because we submit ourselves Unto the riches of the understanding of these words, and not unto the riches of this world. 
riches of the understanding of this word and not to the riches and understanding of this world <laughs> verse 21 I have not written unto you because ye know not the truth but because ye know it and that no lie is of the truth no lies of the truth a lie is perverting the truth and that's what these antichrists have done who is a liar but he that denieth that Yahweh Shai is Mashayak, which is the Messiah or Christ as some people say he is antichrist and denieth the father and the son so whoever denies such is the antichrist those Rastafarians those Muslims um, atheists all of them are antichrist verse 23 whosoever denied the son the same hath not the father he that acknowledges the son hath the father also let them therefore abide in you which ye have heard from the beginning if that which ye have heard from the beginning shall remain in you ye also shall continue in the son and in the father so this doctrine of Yahweh Hashem which shall have blessed me to know knowing that I'm an Israelite knowing that we are his chosen people knowing that the reincarnations and the wisdom on the sound of scriptures and so forth I will therefore continue with this that I've heard from from the first day I heard it to now I will hold on to this truth to the best of my ability the most I will Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Ratazah Bahashem Raka Kodash Matthew chapter 7 verse 14 to 20 because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it <sighs> few there be that find this gate you have to be led to this gate because I tell you the truth, I don't know how I come to it but I know that who brought me to it and it's Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai and I give him praise all the time for this verse 15 beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly are ravening wolves you know and if you go into that word raving it, go, it goes into um, the word utterance to speak to you know um, bring forth and that's what they do they're just talking that's all they do they talk 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 the Jehovah wick wickedness but they don't bring up scriptures verse 16 ye shall know them by their fruits do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles you know them by fruits if a man gathering if, if these are supposed to be righteous men right they're supposed to be gathering righteous people bringing forth true repentance not another version of wickedness verse 17 even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit look at look at christianity the fruits of muslim faith the fruit, fruits of the baha'i hinduism fruits of buddhism fruits of this free thinker um new age type of mindset and so forth look at the fruits they're not edifying nobody those black unconscious clungs as well they ain't edifying nobody they're just going around trying to rob people and trying to show both wickedness and there's no humility verse 18 of matthew 7 a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit so far the apostles and elders of raising the stone you know evil has been spoken about them and they have not been able to prove that so therefore they're a good tree and they're rooted 30 years plus and just using that as an example jacob was quick to say worshiping this man but that's not worshiping you know you read from the scriptures jake jake is just feel oh there's just scriptures or whatever but when you bring present something literal that's why i brought you this article to show you an example of antichrist in all shapes and forms in verse 19 every tree that bringeth forth not fruit every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire wherefore by their fruits you shall know them you know so by their fruits in these last days you will know who the true men of the lord the scripture saying um second is just then you shall know who are my chosen so look up for those antichrists the hypocrites the heretics and so forth be on your guard and try them try them with the scriptures nothing else you know to adi how about shim yao shai put miss rakak wadash on me to do another lesson i hope this was edifying i pray that this was edifying um shalom till another time